There we go. Now you're dead. Who are you? Vulture. Oh, I got the mouse. Uh, hang on. Oh. What the heck? Let's see here. Let's head for the Witch Head Nebula. I see how how incoming missile. The heck is shooting missiles at me? The pirates I find shoot missiles. I got people in this combat site shooting missiles. I don't think any players ever actually fit missiles because the ammo is too expensive. I've never seen, I've never seen any recommended like fittings that have missiles as part of their loadout because they can carry such limited amounts of ammo and the ammo is really expensive. Like I tried a torpedo once and the damn thing only had one shot in it. It certainly did a lot of damage, but at one shot in it, it was like 5,000 for the ammo for that one shot. My sister does not want to find IC2118. Apparently, that is not in the game. Are you looking by real world system names? <laughs> yeah, they work most a lot of the times. Like, you just gotta figure out, like, if they, uh. Uh, what kind of, uh. Like, uh. System they used. You just got to figure out like which, which which particular like star guide that they used for for labeling mm -hmm. that system. Come on, dude, just die. Let's see. Forty thousand. All right, let's go after another vulture here. Let's see how far away. Oh, that is only. Oh, no, no, never mind. Zoom back up towards me here, and let's flatten the map out a little bit here. There we go. There we go. Got the drop on him. Ah, stupid countermeasures. Seriously. Come on, four percent. Die, you bastard. Die.
There we go. You're dead. Super dead. Let's go get this guy. He'll be super easy and kind of cheap. Give me a chance to look at this message I just got. You're dead, dude. This is a interesting route that'll take us pretty much due well due down. <laughs> down. <laughs> yes. You're dead. I'll probably wind up shooting uh, this a few times. Yeah. I think what I would like to do on the exploring front is find my way to the galactic center. Yeah. It would take a really long time, but... It does. People have, you know... Done it already. Yeah. And, like, the pictures I've seen, like, you know, it's kind of, you know, I guess, like, a black hole by its nature is pretty unimpressive. Right, right. I mean, but I'm just like, do you yeah. really think, like, you're going to go to that nebula and you're not going to see anything? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> because all of, you know, all of what we know about what that nebula looks like, like oh, all of those... Oh, it's that, gone already. What? It's gone already. It's even, gone already. Well, even if it was yeah. there, it wouldn't look like that because those colors yeah. are artists' interpretations of the elements, basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's... it's it's Because uh, the Hubble yeah. does not see in color... <laughs> Yeah, well, no. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's whatever, you know, spectrum that they use at the time. <clears throat> well, no, what they do is they, um, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but what they do is they assign colors to, um, elements on the periodic table. Like the gases. Mm-hmm. Um, and apparently the radio telescopes and stuff or whatever can tell what these nebulas are made of. Yeah. And that's how they color the images, the black and white images they get back. Viper Mark IV. I don't actually know how much you're worth. Up to two hundred and thirty-two thousand. I'm gonna be going like I don't know, twenty minutes. I've only been in here shooting things for maybe that, if that. Mm -hmm. All right, we are now on our own as we leave civilization. We gotta remember to throttle down after jumping and uh, watch the frack out for stars. <laughs> I still don't know how you run into those things, man. I forget to the, pull your throttle back while you're yes. in between yeah. systems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Say, <laughs> because that's like always the first thing I do, and. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, apparently the first system I jump into mm -hmm. only has a star, <laughs> which is fine. Let's uh, heal scoop a little here. You better be worth something, Viper Mark IV, because you are taking an awful long time to kill if you aren't worth much. Oh, and your shields are back all on. Well, no, not for long. <laughs> dead. 20,000. That was not worth the effort. Here's a python. Do I want to try the python? I'll try the python. I've been avoiding the bigger ships. Thinking that maybe the smaller ships are faster to kill and less likely to get me killed. <laughs> huh. Been playing some Seven Days to Die lately. Mm -hmm. And that game is pretty fun. In a, like, a panic inducing, nerve-wracking kind of way. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, can't boost because I don't have any power to the engines. A Class T Tauri star. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Neither do I, actually. Did you ever get that uh, video editing software figured out? Um, no, I haven't gotten to that yet. I've had a uh, a, a, a kitchen thing that I'm oh yeah I'm working right. through. Have you have you figured that out yet? <laughs> sort of. I'm using a lot of chemical reactions and brute force. I mean, find a friend who has a snake. <laughs> that, well, that's where the brute force comes in. Shields. Go away. You don't deserve shields. I'm going to overheat just trying to murder you. Now your friends are shooting me. It's kind of annoying. You know, I am, if anything... Well, maybe not this... Well, maybe in not this particular direction I'm traveling. I'm <laughs> heading to another star. I was, I'm like, wait a minute, I am heading, like, away from the galactic center. So, like, the galactic's, but I'm traveling towards another star, so. All right. In a binary star system, so. Come on. 40 light seconds. Let's, let's, let's pick up the pace here, guys. There we go. Now we're starting to scan. There we go. You're dead. Who's here? Who else is here? I, I don't want to kill you. You are not worth the effort. Oh, you're dead. You are worth the effort. Oh, no. Okay. This guy's sh shooting at me. Another t star. I need to look that up. <laughs> All right. You're dead. Who's next? Uh, 
Okay. Maybe... Maybe we're gonna leave. There go my shields. Goodbye. All right, what do what do we what do we got here? Eh, three hundred thousand. Before I had to run away because my shields went down. Mm. It's not great, but it's all right. Better to turn that in than blow up and lose it all. Mm -hmm. Get ourselves in position to do a little little scooping. Rattle back. Did you see the? I don't remember where I saw it at, but did you see the image of the guy who missed the Powerball by one digit on every single number? That in and of itself is. I think that he, even he was either of... one over or one under on every single. Wow. On every did single it, number. Did, yeah. Did anybody win the Powerball? No, it's up to one point something billion on the draw on Wednesday. Because it was like 900 million before. So yeah. um, the number of people that played trying to win bumped it up to. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like one point three billion. Uh, okay, I thought I saw 1.2 billion or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something but... like that, yeah. Yes. Like the odds of that happening are even probably greater than that of of, of winning the actual Powerball. Oh, oh, the odds of specifically missing each number by one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say the odds of pulling any specific number is the same. Yes. <laughs> It's like roulette. Yeah. <laughs> Just because 27 hasn't come up yet doesn't mean 27 isn't going to come up. All right. Who's interdicting yes. me? I'll I don't know. Submit and murder you. Yes. Welcome new people to the stream. Uh, anybody else playing Powerball out there? I'm not. Nope. My fuel. Oh, God, yeah. Nope. My fuel tank is full. Python interdicted me. I mean, I'll, I'll murder you if that's what you want, dude. I don't even... Eh, I might want to target your frame shift drive. It is so... It, it, it is so much more easier to fuel scoop in the ship than it was in the Type 6. I never had problems fuel scooping in the Type 6. Well, I can get, like, a hundred a second and, like, stay below, like, 60% heat. Okay, maybe like 65% heat. Not running anywhere, jackass. You're dead. You were worth 47,000. Hmm. You really shouldn't have interdicted me. Kaboom. So, oh, going too fast. Going way too fast. I really should watch how you like approach systems and stuff like that, just to see how someone else does it. 
because you always continually beat me like when we're like I mean I don't want to say racing but whenever we're you know flying together you're always like beating me into station well I beat you into the station definitely I don't necessarily beat you to the station though most of the time if you, especially if you're already ahead of me. Yeah. Uh, on, the, on occasion, I will push it further than the blue line okay. and purposely overshoot because you can, you, can, you can be a little faster if you purposely overshoot. Mm-hmm. But um, I didn't want to lock target. Getting into the station is a, is a different story. Um, yes. Actually, you do want a lock target on the station because then it shows up. Then it tells you where the uh, the entrance bay is. I don't see. I don't have the problems that you have with knowing where the yeah. entrance bay is. Well, yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> in this particular case, it's right freaking in front of you. Yes, it is. But, <laughs> but even you, yeah, when it's can... not, I don't like <laughs> that. I've done this so many times now that I just I see the rotation of the station and go, okay, it's over there. 